particle accelerator, the atom smasher, whatever you want to call it, over in Europe um, had a little problem. Um, a bunch of helium leaked into the uh, chamber. <laughs> They're going to replicate the Big Bang and a bunch of helium just somehow leaked into the chamber. Um, I don't know, it's probably a, they're going to be down for two months and I think it's a little bit of a cause for concern because uh, first of all, if in the Big Bang, the helium didn't come along until after uh, things started to cool down. And, uh, oh man, I hate when people call me on the phone. here. Oh man, if that phone keeps ringing, my vlog's gonna be as long as a Fizzin Archer. So helium didn't come around until uh, after things started to cool down. And uh, when you're going to try to replicate something like the Big Bang, that we still can measure um, the background radiation because uh, the atmosphere in the universe is basically a very little bit above absolute zero. And that little bit above absolute zero is the background radiation. The Big Bang, which when it happened, it was intensely, intensely hot. And some helium. I mean, helium is a byproduct of uh, hydrogen fusion in stars. It's a little bit more complex um, molecule. <laughs> some just leaked into the chamber. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't think that there's the possibility that a, a micro black hole will eat the earth from the inside out, but yet, I don't think that we really know what the fuck we're doing. I mean, we're messing with shit that might be, I mean, our brains are, we're never meant to figure out the complexity of the universe, we're just meant to survive. Now we're doing experiments with 